Hello, my friends around the world. I'm on YouTube now doing a live healing session with my friend Lizzie Poo. In where the hell are you? I'm in Michigan. Michigan. She's in Michigan. I've never been to Michigan. I have clients all around the world. I work with clients on Skype doing all kinds of healing modalities. One of the many ones is body code. I better move this video up a little so you guys can see my face. Okay, I'm gonna. Here I am. I'm freezing cold. I got my double beanie caps on, I got my down coat, I got a scarf around my neck, even though I have one heater on, I have a foot warmer on. I hate winter in Japan, but anyway, I'm going to bring you back to the screen here. For people who go into my website, you can purchase uh, healing sessions, and I'll show you how you do it. Uh, where did my website go? Uh, here we go. So you just go to Tim Janakis, or TJ actually, Tim, TJ Music dot... O R G, oh, O R G, as in orgy, <laughs> and uh, blog.html. Or if you just go to regular tjmusic.org, you can, just, the second healing thing here is uh, energy healing. Click on that, and the first one says running a healing special for New Year's. Three sessions for the price of two, five sessions for the price of three. I'm actually doing the session on Lizzie Poo here as a complimentary session because she's doing the video with me and also because she's helping me out with, it, with my radio program. But uh, if you click right here, you can see there's five different price things here. 20-minute um, proxy sessions are $49. 30-minute uh, sessions by phone are $98. You can click on which one you want. But we have a special for both of those sessions. Five for the price of three down here or three for the price of two. So how does it get even better than that? Um, I do body code, motion code, all different kinds of stuff. So you can check out my page here. You can read, watch videos of me on YouTube, some of the videos here. You can listen to my radio programs uh, twice a week on this little link here on my thing. Anyway, Lizzie Poo's called in my radio show before. Uh, for people who do healing for people long distance, if you want to do a free program, it's called Audacity. It allows you to record your sessions, which I'm going to start recording right here. So I go like this. I start recording. I usually say this is... Her third or fourth session, I forget. We've done a few sessions before. I think it's the third or fourth. And uh, it is 11.53 in the a.m. in Japan. And it is the, 13th, the 15th, the day after Valentine's Day in February 2016. So that's what I usually do for my healer, my calling when I record them and I send them an MP3 at the end. I'll show you how I do, I do that. But let's go with Lizzie Poo. Um, I'm going to open up first the body code chart. This is the old body code chart. I have the old and new body code chart. That's the new body code chart with, I'm going to open up this one. Where is it? Ah, I opened the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to get my program together here. One second. Why does it keep opening the old body code chart? Oh, I know. I have old body code chart and new body code chart. That's the new body code chart. There we go. Okay, new body code chart. And my special version of it, I've kind of updated the body code, added extra sections that are not in there. So don't tell anyone I have a secret copy here. Okay, so Lizzie, what's one thing you want to work on today that would make you rock and roll? Um, let's see, let's work on my blood gene. Your blood what? My blood gene. Okay. So the good thing is I don't have to know what the client is talking about because half the time they ask me all these questions about things I have no idea. The good thing is I'm muscle <laughs> testing. So my name is Tim. It's real strong. My name is Bob. It goes real weak. But now I'm going to say my name is Liz and it's real strong. I go my name is Tim. Now it's weak. That means I'm picking up for Liz. And I'm going to zoom in on the camera here to show you the body code and what I do when I ask questions. This is the motion code chart actually right here. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So is it something on the motion code chart? No, it's something on the body code chart. So I don't even know what she's talking about, but that's cool because I don't need to know because her body knows everything. But she knows what she's thinking about. Misalignment. Okay, so the first thing is a misalignment. An organ misalignment. Now whether this really has to do with the problem that she asked about or whether her body thinks there's something more important, you never know. But the body knows what it wants to do. So here the body says there's an organ misalignment. And it's the small intestine. How that would affect her blood gene, I don't know, but maybe it won't, but we'll see. Um, this small intestine, is there an underlying reason why it's misaligned though? Can I just realign it? Okay, for those who can see me here, I rub in my hands over my head. I don't use magnets. Uh, I just rub my hands over my head and I just use the intention of clearing it. And then I ask, is it cleared? And I get a strong muscle test. It's, it's cleared, so it's gone. 
or actually I'm not clearing anything. I was realigning her, realigning her small <laughs> intestine. The good thing is I could space out and not know what I'm doing and my body knows what I'm doing. Her body knows what I'm doing. So is her small intestines aligned now? Yes, it's aligned. Cool. So I sometimes space out. I work with three or four people at the same time when I'm working on a family, sometimes on Skype. And I ask about one person, but I get sometimes answers about the other person, and but the bodies know what it's doing, so it's okay. Okay, so is there anything else we can do about this blood gene she's talking about? Okay, I don't know what she's talking about, but it says no. So is there something else for her overall health and happiness? Yeah, I'm seeing there's an energy here. Um, if you watch my older videos, I used to ask, is it on this side of the chart or that side of the chart, or is it in number one or number two column or whatever? I don't do that anymore. I gave that up about two or three years ago because uh, my body said, I don't need to do that anymore. It's wasting my time. It's wasting the people's time. So I cut back from doing hour sessions to doing like half hour sessions, and I do proxy sessions now for only 20 minutes usually because I do so much. And Right now I'm explaining to you guys on the, on the video, but usually I don't spend all this time explaining. I go right to it. So her body says there's a post-hypnotic suggestion right here. That's what I'm getting a strong connection for. I'm muscle testing to verify the connection I'm getting, but I always get a yes, so it's an inflammation. Do we need to anything more about it? No, does Lizzie have more than one inflammation, more than 100, more than 1,000, more than a million? These thousands of areas that are, might be influ inflamed in her body, can we release all the inflammation at the same time? Yeah, do we need to anything more? We just got this inflammation from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else it might be. This is all gone, yeah. Okay, we have the sirens going outside. Someone's probably caught their house on fire because uh, Japanese have the old crazy kerosene heaters that are dangerous. Anyways, I have one too, but I don't have it on right now. I'll turn it on tonight. I have two heaters going in the same room a lot of times. Okay, so Lizzie Pooh, is there something else? No. Okay, besides this, this gene, blood gene thing, is there something else you would want to work on? Um, my strength. Your strength, okay. Okay, my name is Liz. If something would help her with strength, is it on the body chart? Yeah. So sometimes when I ask if it's on the body chart, I'm get, I'll get no. That means I have to go to another, many of my other healing modalities. But her body's saying nutritional lifestyle issue. And her body's saying sleep. So could I download sleep energy for her? This is what I found with myself and other people. Um, I study lucid dreaming and astral projection. I'm going to wipe my camera because my lens is all fogging up because this room is too humid. Uh, it's even that's even worse. Okay, I wiped it with the my hat that's a little wet. Okay, anyway, you guys can see a little bit. Um, what was I just saying? Um, I've <laughs> I realized we can download anything. <laughs> so, so I down I study astral projection and lucid dreaming, and I read a lot of books about the so-called etheric realm, getting etheric energy when you go into your etheric body when you sleep, and it goes off into this wherever this etheric realm is, if it's real or not, who knows. But anyway, it supposedly gets this etheric energy, that's what the sleep is for, and then it charges you up so you can, you can be, I don't know what, you, you can be charged up with etheric energy, whatever that means. But anyway, I just found you can download almost anything, so I used to have to refer people to get uh, all kinds of herbs and all kinds of uh, supplements when their body was deficient, but now I've realized you can just download it. And I think that one of the healers that came on my radio program, I can't remember his name, but he, he did that, and I just got this download when he was doing it that I can do that too. And I just had to rub my hands over my head like I do with everything else and say, I'm downloading this etheric energy from the etheric realm into her etheric body or any other energy from any other place you can get it into her body, mind, spirit, energy system, or wherever else she needs it to get better sleep and to get more sound sleep and to get better rest. Is that good? Yeah. Does she need more sleep? No. See, the, now she doesn't need more sleep. So we, we've, we've fixed the problem without even having to sleep. Okay, but I recommend getting a lot of sleep for everybody. I get 9 to 10 hours in the winter because I hate winter. I slept 10 hours, I think, last night. I just wanted the summer to come back. Okay, so is there anything else we can do about the... No, something else to give her strength. Yeah, is it on the body control? Yeah. Okay. It's energies. She has allergies and intolerances. Uh, idea allergies. So people say, how do I know it's idea allergy? What I don't ask, is it on this side or on this side or of it up or down? I don't ask that anymore because my body just feels it. It's, if I feel it right there. The only way I can explain it, I never did Ouija board, but uh, if I did Ouija board, my hands would move to the area on the Ouija board. I'm wiping the lens and it's making it worse. Okay. Anyway, you're getting a foggy view. But anyway, have you ever done a Ouija board, Lizzie? I never did that. <laughs> my grandma bought me one for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Did you try it? <laughs> did it work? Yeah, we did. Okay. We so, tried throwing it away three times, but it ended up back in the house, too. <laughs> Grandpa took it out into the woods when he went hunting and left it there. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew Lizzie would have tried this. I haven't had one. I tried one. But anyway, that's how my, my eye just goes right to the idea allergy right away. It's like I'm doing... You were right, though, about the allergy, because I just cleaned out the um, reservoir for my uh, vacuum, and all the dust went into my nose yesterday, and it I knew it was going to get me this, like, today. So I woke up like that. Okay. Yeah. So this, this one good says it's an idea allergy, or a thought or idea allergy. So it is the thought or idea allergy that you could be affected by any dust. Right, or it was a thought. Else. Yeah. So... Yes. What, who's... I just heard... Oh, is that your phone? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Oh, okay. So I thought, I was like, I don't have a phone that buzzes like that. I'm looking around my room like, where's the phone? Okay, when I'm doing a, a paid client session, I don't spend all this time goofing around, but I'm having fun here and my camera's still fogged up. I don't know what's up with this camera. It's all fogged up. Okay, anyway, so uh, you guys are getting a blurry screen now. You okay. see vinegar on it. Clean it off. No, no, it's, the, it's my uh, Sony, Sony camcorder video projector it just it's it gets steamed up because there's so much humidity in this room with the heater going oh my brother had one of those i know what you're talking about yeah so once it gets dry in a moment you can see clear but all of a sudden i try to wipe it with my with my beanie cap and my beanie cap is kind of wet because i got out of the shower and my hair is wet so i, I didn't realize that made it worse <laughs> anyway Unless you used softener on it and it could have smeared it yeah i just anyway <laughs> i'll do i'll do about it later my, my name is Lizzie. Is there this allergy, thought, or idea allergy? Can I release it? Yeah. Do we just want to more about it? I really seen this from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else it might be. Is this all gone? Yeah. Anything else like that? No. Besides strength, is there something else we need to work on? Yeah. Okay. Luckily, her body knows. So sometimes I have clients who don't know what's wrong with them, and they just say, just ask my body whatever it wants, and your body will tell you. Her body says pathogens, viral infections. We have viral infections can be stored anywhere in our body that... <clears throat> won't necessarily affect our body. We won't have the sickness, but it'll still, the body has to keep fighting it from becoming active, so it's better to release it. <clears throat> Does she need anything for cleansing now? Can I release it? Is there more than one, more than a hundred, more than a thousand? So her body thinks there's hundreds of viral infections. A lot of times they're stored in fat cells or wherever else they want to be stored in the body. Can we release them all? Yeah. Releasing all these from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else she has these. Are these all going? Does she have anything else like that? No. Should we do some other healing without it? No. Um, Something else about the sleep issue, yeah. Do, are you sleeping well right now, you feel? I'm just having a problem at night when my um, my anxiety goes up. I think it's the blood pressure, honestly. Okay. Um, okay. But I'm going to sleep probably 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes when I'd rather go to sleep earlier. Okay, so let's work on that. Your body says it's another nutritional lifestyle issue. It's dehydration. And that was funny because I was just drinking. I was feeling when you, were, when you were talking, I started drinking because I, whatever you were saying, it felt like I, my whole body dried out. So is there an underlying reason why she's dehydrated? No, she, she doubled the amount of water she's drinking, tripled the amount of quadrupled. Tri so your body thinks quadrupled the amount of water you're drinking. I wouldn't do that. That just means your body's <laughs> telling you get some water. So do you have water with you right now? Yes, I actually drank two before I got on with you okay. and I have it right here. That's funny. Is the water that she's drinking, is it clean enough? Yeah, is she just needs to be drinking more of it. Okay, so just your body's 80%, 70-whatever. I don't know how much, but it's a lot of water. So I'm going to drink some water for you right now. Because I was feeling, right when you were talking, I started like, oh, i got to eat a drink. Yeah, I had extreme thirst, actually, like an hour before I got on. It was like I, I had to take down two bottles of water so quickly, and I usually don't do that, mm. but it hit me so fast. Cool. So your body knows what it wants. Is that good now? Should she drink more water now? No. Okay. So is there something else on the nutritional lifestyle issue? No. Something else that will help her with sleep? Yeah. Okay. More pathogens. Viral infections. Do we need to show anything more about them now? Does she have hundreds, thousands, millions, thousands now? Can we release them all at the same time? Yeah. Do we need to show anything more now? I should have asked you about your immune system. I'll ask in a moment. Releasing all these viral infections from her body, mind, spirit, energy system, and wherever else she has them. <sighs> Okay, this is just really crazy because this video projector is so steamed up. Whoa, I pushed the wrong button here.
Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, I stopped the projector. Let me start it again. Let me just shut it for a moment, and then I'll start it again because it's... I don't like how...